Welcome back to Andres Al Rey. Today I'm going to be reacting to Cursed, Season 1, Episode 2, named Cursed. Now, I guess we're going to find out in this episode why she has been named Cursed, why the show is Cursed, why she believes she's Cursed. So, I'm ready to get into it. But let's just recap from last episode. Last episode, we found out who she was. Her name is Nimu. And she was just named the Sorcerer. She didn't want to be the Sorcerer now. Now, we also met her friend who I was calling the whole episode Pimp. But her name is Pim. I might be pronouncing that wrong again. But I, I think I got it right this time. Pim. So, her and Pim, which I call Zena and Gabrielle, went on a little voyage after she went on a tangent about how upset she was with her people not wanting her to be the sorcerer or the successor, or whatever she was. She was going to go run to a boat, but the boat left and wouldn't be returning for six months, so she's trapped there. On her little voyage back to her village, she bumped into a man named Arthur, who we found out is going to be her love interest. Now, Arthur, from all we know, is a singer. Oh, and he is a warrior. He is a singer. He's a singer-warrior. Warrior-singer. One of those. Now, we also met a little boy who I found out named was Squirrel. That was cool. He is a thief. I made it absolutely clear he's a thief. Um, but he's cool. I actually like his character. And also we found out a guy named Father Father something of the brother, Red Hood, who we'll call Red Riding Hood, because that's what they look like. They look like a bunch of Red Riding Hoods. Um, and they're going around killing the people that Nemu is. Now, ne Nemu gives me very Xena, like I said, mixed with Poison Ivy. Like, she is one with the plants. And um, we also met Merlin. Now, when Xena or Nemu went back to her village after finding her love interest, Arthur, stick with me, guys. She went back to her village and found out that her village was attacked. Her mother was then killed. and But, it, but in the process, um, her mother told her to give her back, get this sword back to Merlin. Now, Merlin, we discovered earlier in the episode, and he's just a drunken fool. He's a drunken fool with no powers anymore, and uh, he loves blood rain. I mean, I don't know if this description is making you guys want to be like, yeah, I don't want to see the next episode, but just bear with me. I'm sure it's going to get better. Um, at the ending of the last episode, Nemu came in one with her sword and started killing dire wolves or wolves with really bad graphics and then it cut off. Now, what we have to find out is when she went back to her village, um, she was separated from Pim or Pimp or Gabrielle. Um, so I hope in this episode she gets reunited or will she with her Gabrielle. And also Squirrel. Squirrel's in a cave. Squirrel's in a cave, like he was told to do, and he's waiting for her to come back. So hopefully she will be back. Um, now, we're going to probably see where things are going to take off after she killed the direwolves. So I'm all for it, and let's just jump into this episode. And bloop! What? <laughs> Hello? Mm, she got some Uggs, people. This is Uggs before it's time. 
What's this young Nemo? Him? Here, mm -mm, didn't your mom tell you not to be going in the woods alone? Step one, people. Tell your children not to go into the woods alone. Always messing something up. Girl, don't you got powers? Aren't you poison ivy? a procrastinator. Girl, what the hell? People be always throwing up in these shows. Oh, we're not gonna see what the guy looks like. I love this intro. I think we're always dance to it when it comes on. Oh my god, he is annoying. Why is he banging on the door so much? Your Majesty? What in Christ's name are you up to? There is blood all over the castle. Is this madness you're doing? All is well in hand, Your Majesty. I just need a little more time to study the omens. Study the omens? We will have answers today, you fraud! He's a very annoying king. One girl did all this. One free girl. Father! Who is this character? This Kylo Ren, Anakin Skywalker character. Oh, well, there's a the guy that I was looking for. Who did this to you, my child? Wolf's blood. Same track, same girl. Girl, why don't you wash your face and not the sword? Priorities. Most unnatural. The Lord, there's no hope. <laughs> told so young. That's unnatural. Jonah, she's your daughter. Do something. Why are you crying and what is she saying? Her hair has not lost one braid. There you go. Girl. And you still didn't get the blood off. Really, boy? That's what you came out from? Everybody's dumb. 
You were crying for 15 minutes in the water. Squirrel. You guys are a bad duo. The Red Hood is blind. She is so, like, girl, I would have picked you up right away. Girl, no. Uh -oh. That was fucking disgusting. Where are we going? Shut up, boy. <laughs> Oh, now you know Who are those people? Random characters coming out everywhere. Out of the woodworks. And Squirrel didn't move. They didn't even unwrap him. They were. You tell your fake brethren what you saw here. Tell them I'm coming. Oh uh, Arthur, I thought you were still Who's sleeping. Happened? Where's Pim? She's gone. Now. There's a good girl. Cut his hand off. Cut off his head. Ooh. Whee. <laughs> My balls won't forget this. And now the red paladins too. Red paladins. I'm sorry. There'll Not be a red hood. On my head, from here to the a black version of. You heard. Snow White, that guy. Beauty and the Beast. What's his name? I want to bring his name later. Gaston. <laughs> He's the black Gaston. Zena, Gabrielle, and Gaston. <laughs> this is the kind of soul that gets you noticed. That's good and bad for you. Makes you easy to spot. The knight on the other hand. kind of sword that gets you an audience. I'll have it back. Your mother's gone. Who? Sad but true. Oh. You're still here. Who? You can't change your fate, only your own. <sighs> I Are promised her. And I will keep that promise. Yes, Daenerys. I mean, Nimu. Who's this character? Oh, Merlin. Merlin is so stylish. Where did he get that leather coat from? <laughs> he looks like he went to Saxon Fed, bitch. Now, if he knows her, I'm gonna be all the way done. Jabal's in the twilight. We're safe. We're with friends. Girl, Merlin is rocking this coat. Who was she? Lahula. You told us the sword of the first kings was destroyed. You lied. This affects all of us, not just you. The Fae are on the verge of extinction. If the church acquires the sword of power, then they will decide who wears the crown. Old needs Merlin, not this piteous creature you've become. I have no magic. That's what the sword took from me. Where's the sword now? What do you see? I sense fear around the sword. But also great power.
Mm-mm, Arthur. The sword is finding its way to you, Merlin. But which end of the sword, the point or the pommel, is another question. Tell. Tell me you're not planning to steal. From him. I am. Where are you off to now? To fulfill a dying wish. Who are you? Okay, and that was episode two. That was pretty good. So, what we got from this episode was now we know who the character is. He's the morning monk who is like a stealth fighter. He's amazing. It's my word. Um, Squirrel is running in the woods aimlessly. I don't know where he's running to, but Squirrel is running. Pim, from the last episode, we still have no idea where she is. So, we'll just leave her on the back burner. Um, Nemo trusted Arthur very quickly. Not really sure why she trusted this man that she does not know, but she did. And I guess it seemed like he drugged her because he took that sword and she was just, she's been she was sleeping from half this episode all the way through. Like she she sleep. So she's still asleep. Arthur took the sword and apparently he has to fulfill a dying wish as well. So now we know that um everybody's dying and everybody got a wish. Um we also got introduced to a new character, but we don't know her name. She looks like part of those Red Hood people, but she has a different hood. It's Tan. So there is that. Um, and we got a little backstory of Nemo and realized that she was cursed by the Dark Lords, which I'm assuming, or Dark Demon, which I'm assuming was the bear that talked to her in the woods, the iron, the iron woods. So now we have a little bit of backstory and know why, you know, nobody really cares for her. They think she's marked with the demon and they also think she's cursed. She's cursed by the demon. Now I finally got the episode title. So there, bam, I told you, it takes me just a couple of minutes and I will finally get it. So we have that. Um, so overall, I liked this episode in parts, and parts I didn't, but it was pretty good, and I'm ready for whatever brings me next. More characters that I don't know any names. Okay, guys, well, that was my reaction to Cursed Season 1, Episode 2. Check out more videos down below, and also check my collection, the Andres Array collection. Please check it out, guys. I'll leave the link down below as well. Also, I'll be leaving links for some YouTubers you guys should check out. They're really good. So, check more videos and catch me next time on Andres Array. Bloop!